Konnichiwa from the Suzuka Circuit in Japan. This unique track is a favorite home for motorsports, and it welcomes us back this weekend. Get ready for exhilaration and speed with the Japanese Grand Prix. Drivers will battle it out this weekend on the snaking turns of Suzuka, the only figure of eight track in Formula One. High speed downforce will be the name of the game here, if teams want to secure a place on that podium. Alfa Romeo are this close to winning the season's trophy, but nothing's over before the end. Williams has fought this season wheel to wheel, and they certainly won't give up now. So, without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back as we continue our race weekend with practice soon to finish and then qualifying hot on its heels. While many eyes may be drifting ahead to the big race, the teams and their drivers will be fully focused on the task at hand here today. Those who make the most of the free practice sessions will head into qualifying knowing that they've given it their all and done everything in their power to cement themselves a good strong position on the asphalt tomorrow. There's not much left to say, so let's get into it.
The time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. Race day has arrived. Alfa Romeo managed to meet expectations during qualifying. And if they can keep this up, they'll have a good race ahead of them. Seeing how they did in qualifying, Williams are going to be the team to watch here. They'll be starting strong at the top of the grid and will have many opportunities to steer the race in their favor. And the clouds today look very ominous, which means that teams may have to contend with rain at some point during the race. The Suzuka circuit is primed and ready to see Formula One's finest battle it out. It's a somewhat overcast day for the drivers, who've now taken position on the grid. And there, we see the Alfa Romeo. A second place start for them today. They're in with a real chance. And it's the second Alfa Romeo there. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. Will their hard work pay off today? Get ready, it's the Japanese Grand Prix. And it slides out, and away we go. Very good. Good job. Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. And a new position just gained by Williams. There's been contact. Let's take a look at the replay. Looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. And there's an overtake from Williams. There's been a crash. We can take a look now. We're just watching the Red Bull.
team are devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened out there. the replay. So this was the Aston Martin. Let's have a look. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. Keep focus. Look at that! They've run wide! Let's take a closer look. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. Well, I don't know what they were thinking there. They're completely off the racing line. Sounds like someone's gone wide there. Let's see what happened there. Okay, so there we have the LP. They're way off the racing line there. That isn't good. It's a spin! We can take a look now. Now look at this, it was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. What a spin out!
Box, box. like a single car. Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see the Williams here. Dear me, they won't have been expecting that. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. crash here's the replay now just take a look at the mclaren and then we see the crash Someone's run wide. Let's take a closer look. OK, so there we have the Alpine. They're forced wide, and there we can see them slide off. Take a look now. This one involved Pietro Fittipaldi. That crash is terrible news for the team.
like there's been a crash. Let's see what happened there. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Thank goodness nobody else was involved. That. Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see the Williams here. Oh, a nasty crash there. Oh, they've run wide. Here's the replay. Now just watch the Mercedes here. And they've gone wide, way wide. We've just had a spin. This will be the last lap, last lap. Almost the line. Let's take a closer look. It's all over. Alfa Romeo takes first place. And you can hear just how happy the crowd are for them too. They're on their feet. Fantastic work from the Alfa Romeo driver. A good outcome for Alfa Romeo today. The team have got to be pleased with this performance. Yeah, this was a really clever bit of strategy and it's great to see that pay off. I can't wait to find out what they show us next time. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Coming up next, we'll be crossing the pond all the way to Texas for the twists and turns of the United States Grand Prix.